What is going on everybody and welcome back to Mad Detailing. Today's video is on the world's nastiest Ford Mustang. This vehicle is a repossession and if you guys remember that Cadillac CTS that we did that was really moldy, we're back at that same auction. They called us and they said they had a nasty Mustang that had chickens living in it and honestly I didn't believe them till we pulled up and seen this car. This car is just downright disgusting. The smell, I'm just glad you guys can't smell this car because it was up there with the nastiest smelling cars we've ever done. But as you guys are watching this video right now, we may or may not be getting destroyed down here in Florida by a hurricane. I'm not sure yet because it's Tuesday right now, but supposedly the hurricane is going to be pretty bad. So make sure you guys like this video and subscribe and that'll keep me safe from this hurricane. But in all seriousness, I live in Florida and hurricane is just another day for us. But on the bright side, on Sunday, I am flying out to do a collab with some other detailers here on YouTube. So if you guys think you know who those people are, make sure you guys leave a comment down below and also stay tuned because that's gonna be pretty epic. So starting off this detail with cleaning the engine bay, I am first using our pressure washer to blow away all the loose dirt and grime. Then I'll spray the entire engine bay down with our Mad Detailing Extreme APC, and that is diluted four to one. And then I'll simply let it sit for about 15, 20 seconds, and then I'll spray it off with a pressure washer. And moving on to cleaning these very neglected wheels, I'm using our Mad Detailing Extreme APC on the tires and fender wells. And for the wheels, I'm using our Mad Detailing Acid along with multiple different brushes so I can make sure I get every inch of this wheel and tire 100% clean. And also we're doing a sale on our website and the sale is you get a free 16 ounce bottle with every gallon purchase. So if you guys purchase any of our mad detailing products in gallons, you guys will get a free 16 ounce bottle. So if you guys are looking to restock your detailing products right now is your chance. So all you guys have to do is head over to www.maddetailingusa.com. I also have a link down in the description. And anytime you guys purchase a gallon, you will get a free 16 ounce bottle. Before I can do any type of contact wash, I need to pre-rinse this vehicle. And for this, I'm using our Mad Detailing Extreme APC. You can also use any type of snow foam. I just prefer the APC. It does a way more thorough of a job. And honestly, it's cheaper because you can dilute it 10 to one. And after that, I will move on to foaming the entire vehicle down with our Mad Detailing Sewer Blue Soap and a foam cannon. And then I will proceed to give the car a nice hand wash with a soft microfiber wash mitt.
So moving on to cleaning the interior, the first thing I need to do is get all this nasty trash and just everything removed. A lot of it's wet and there was a bunch of spiders on the driver's rear, which is uh, pretty gross. But either way, we're gonna get all this trash removed. Then we can give the carpet a good pre-vacuum and then we're gonna pull it out of this car because I guarantee you it's nasty and wet underneath it. Moving on to cleaning these leather seats, I'm using our Mad Detailing Leather Cleaner, a leather brush, and I'm also gonna use the steamer. I'm pretty positive that this is chicken poop. So if you could imagine the steam coming off of it and the smell, it was a pretty disgusting, but I'm gonna have to repeat this process multiple times because I don't wanna just use a steamer and go too hard because I actually remove you know, some of the dye in the leather and I can actually burn it. So I'm just gonna repeat this process you know, multiple times and just taking my time with it, not getting the seat too hot. So I'm moving really quickly when I'm using the steam.
Anytime you do a deep clean on leather, you wanna make sure you condition them. And what I'm using now is our mad detailing leather conditioner in a foam applicator.
So unfortunately my steamer broke on the last seat so I was unable to steam these panels. So what I'm using now is our Mad Clean All Purpose Cleaner in a soft detail brush. And I'm gonna use a microfiber towel to wipe it all down. And I'm also using compressed air. And I just repeat this process multiple times to make sure the panels are as clean as possible. And I did end up getting a new steamer the next day. So I just went back and steamed the panels, but unfortunately that was not on video. And moving on to the carpet extraction, we are now using our Mad Detailing Extreme APC, a Milwaukee drill with a drill brush attachment. And for the extractor, I'm using my Mighty HP60 hot water extractor.
So moving back onto the exterior of this vehicle, before I can do any type of polishing, I need to clay bar the surface. And for this, I'm using our mad detailing clay lube in a synthetic clay bar, and then I can move on to polishing it. For that, I'm going to use our Rupes 21 polisher, a red polishing pad in HD speed. I know that's not gonna be a full correction, but it's gonna remove a lot of swirls and scratches, leave behind a nice high gloss shine, and it's also gonna leave behind a good bit of protection. Thank you.